good morning and welcome back to another new vlog. Happy Monday. Today we're starting off another week in my life vlog. It's Monday. We have the solar eclipse today, pajama day, and our whole class read and reward will be this morning. If you watched my last vlog, then you saw all of the activities I have planned for today and tomorrow to learn about and celebrate the solar eclipse. Most of that is just online videos and read alouds, but I did also find a coloring page that I want to offer. I'm going to print that out this morning. The other thing that I want to do before my kids come in this morning is reset our reward jar. I think we're going to have time to fill that again before the end of the school year, so I want to be able to start that process today. girls in the run and I'm back in my classroom. I'm going to very quickly reset my whiteboard but I wanted to touch base with you. Today was a really fun day. The solar eclipse went really well. We got to go out and watch it for a little bit and we did a lot of learning and activities today that I showed you in my last vlog but it was a really fun day and then girls in the run was of course fun. It feels so great to get moving and get outside especially because it's 70 degrees here. We have a very nice day today and tomorrow so I'm looking forward to that as well. All in all a really fun day and then tomorrow I have a meeting that I'll talk a little bit more about tomorrow looking ahead to some fun things that I get to do at the end of the year so I will check in with you then I'll see you tomorrow happy Tuesday it's gonna be another really nice day so I wore my new dress from shop RBC one of my favorite places to shop it is 706 I just got to school and everything around the room is set up and ready for today I did get a few things in the mail that I need to bring in so I'm gonna bring my little wagon out to my car go fill it up and then I'll bring it back in and show you what I got. Okay, I'm back. I was so excited to get this first package. I'm working with this company over on Instagram. It's called Sticker You. I was able to create stickers to use in my classroom and I am obsessed with how they turned out. I used my Bitmoji to help make them. So I have me and this little star, gold star. I have this one, so proud of you. And then you can make them in different shapes. This one is cut in stars. And then circles. We have these two, genius and super. Me clapping, good stuff. And then I have this cute one. I got three pages of all those stickers. I'm so excited to put these on my students' work. I think that they're going to love them. They also come in rolls, so I got 250 of these that say good job. I love them so much and I cannot wait to put them on my students' work. I think they're going to love them just as much. From really good stuff this month, I just got a bunch of essentials. I got a few packs of this large white construction paper, these bags, some bins. I got a set of the blue and then a set of clear. Okay, now we have to go to our meeting. All right, it is the end of the day now. I spent the afternoon in a meeting doing some very exciting planning for a math project that I'm going to do towards the end of the year. I really enjoyed that time and I'm excited for that project to come later. Right after school, I went to the after school tutoring program that my school is running. I am helping teach that. We are working with students that are K through 3 and we all meet in the library and do some tutoring so I went to that this afternoon right after school. It is now five o'clock and I'm ready to go outside at 71 out. Another really nice warm day. I think it'll be our last really nice day this week so I'm gonna get home right away. Maybe go on a walk this evening and enjoy the nice warm weather. I'm not looking at my sub note. I am not resetting the room. I'm just grabbing my stuff and I'm gonna go home. I'll check in with you tomorrow.
Happy Wednesday. We're back for a full normal day of school. I mentioned yesterday, but I had a meeting in the afternoon where I was able to meet with our math coach. We were kind of organizing and planning for some spaces and time where I might be able to fit in some of our Bridges Math Unit 8 in before the end of the school year. After yesterday, I'm definitely looking forward to that project, but for now, we are back to focusing on our current learning. After my sub yesterday, I didn't reset or clean anything in my classroom for today, so I need to do that right now and then I'll see if I can get anything else off of my to-do list done before my kids start coming in this morning. Thursday. This week is rolling by. I had a meeting during my plan time yesterday, filmed some sponsored reels during my lunch break, and then I had a girls in the run after school. Today we are starting a project in reading. We are just wrapping up our historical fiction book club unit. We placed our readers into book clubs and gave them one specific historical time period where they were reading, researching, learning more about that time period. They were given one main chapter book and then had some supplements mental books articles and videos along the way to research their time period. Then during our project-based learning collaboration my team and I decided to do a project for this unit. The purpose is for our readers to collaborate on a project where they can teach us more about the specific time period they were researching. So we gave them a list of potential projects. Then yesterday during their reading time their book club got together and agreed on one project that they wanted to produce together. And today we are going to start working on the rough drafts of that project. We're really trying to keep the project in general as open as possible, see what they can create. But I am thinking of making just a list of things to consider, things that they may want to talk about or include in case they are in need of some guidance. So that's what I'm going to work on right now, just thinking of some things that they may want to include. I also wanted to make some copies this morning, getting ahead on some science assessments that I want to copy. I have a feeling we are going to have indoor recess today. It's pouring right now and it looks like it's going to be a consistent 60% chance of rain. So I think that we will have indoor recess today and then I have after school tutoring. I also have a meeting during my plan time so I think I will just catch up with you after school today or maybe even tomorrow. Good morning, happy Friday. Just got to school, it's 7 o'clock, and I'm gonna take a peek at the things that I need to get done today. I am so thankful it's Friday. These weeks staying after school are exhausting me. The warm weather has definitely been helping, but today and yesterday it's just been so rainy and dreary. So unfortunately, I think that means indoor recess again today. Oh yeah, probably gonna be indoor recess today. Today we have a checkpoint in math. We're reviewing area and perimeter, so now we're just working with some larger numbers. I'm going to get this checkpoint this morning, and then we also have a game to help review some area and perimeter things. I want to have time to get to this game soon. I don't know if it's going to be today, but factors and multiples. Both of these games would be really good for my mathematicians. And then of course, looking at the checkpoint, seeing how we're doing. I did grade a work sample that we took earlier this week or end of last week, I don't know, but they did a great job with it practicing on ratio tables. So 
this one today will hopefully go well. And then we're gonna have a longer writing block today. On Fridays, we do not rotate. So instead of fitting writing and science into an hour this morning, I'm gonna do an hour of writing. We are doing a read aloud today. We're gonna read a text and then I'm gonna give them opportunity to practice their literary essay, making strong claims and then looking for evidence from the text that we read to put into their essay. We're doing a lot of practice with that. Our M step is our state test. Our math M step is on May 2nd, and then our ELA is May 9th. So they're coming up. And then this afternoon, our tech expert is coming in to do an M step lesson. She's going to go through the different tech features of the site and help them practice with that a little bit before the big day. And then the last thing we're going to do today is finish up our rough drafts on our projects. I did want to show you, I kind of laid things out yesterday. So here are the options I gave them the first day. The first day that we were working on the project, I asked them as a group to agree on one thing that they wanted to produce together. Keeping in mind the purpose of the project was to teach their classmates about the time period they had been researching. So they looked at this list, talked about it with their book club, and came up with one thing that they wanted to create. Yesterday was day two. I reminded them again of the project purpose. They are working together to create something to teach their classmates about the time period. I gave them a list of things things to consider. As I mentioned yesterday, we're really trying to keep things as open as possible, see where their creativity takes them. So just gave them this list of things to consider and told them that they needed to discuss what they wanted to actually teach and then begin their rough draft. Today is day three. They're going to work as a group to complete their rough draft is the goal today. Keeping in mind of course, the project purpose. Next week, they are going to work to complete a final product. I am really looking forward to seeing how they all turn out and what they choose to teach their classmates about that time in our history. I've been kind of working ahead on some science assessments, making rubrics for those. We have three more science assessments, so I think that I'm going to make those copies this morning. That way, I am all done making copies for science this year, slowly but surely wrapping up all of that. I'll just have to print and copy those. And then I need to do some work on my e-blast. I really haven't even started that, so that's definitely something that I'm going to be doing today. During my plan time, probably during lunch, but I really prefer getting my copying done before everybody gets here in the morning, especially when I'm copying science because I'm making 75 copies. So I'm going to go get that done right now. I printed the science assessments and I usually print this stuff on colored paper, but I've decided I'm just going to print the assessments on white and then do the rubrics that go on top yellow. I think that'll be a little bit easier. So I just copied all of my assessments for the second, third, and fourth mysteries, the last mysteries in science for this year. I also printed our math homework and math homework is optional. I send it home on Fridays and then if they want to turn it in, I'll look it over and give it back to them by the next Friday. But I just print home connections that are going along with what we're learning in class, put them in their Friday folders, and then check them when they come in. All right, school is done for the day. We ended up having indoor recess, but I was able to work on my e-blast, so I got that ready to go. I just pressed send on that. I was also able to fill in my cart, organize all my copies into the days for next week. Lesson plans and everything were done. Mailboxes emptied. Friday folders went home today. Last thing I need to do is reset my whiteboard, and then I'm going to be off for the weekend. <music> Whiteboard is all done and reset. I am off to go start my weekend. I hope that you enjoyed coming along with me this week. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video.